The Began family is one of many grappling with the inexplicable loss of a child. Their daughter, Rosie, passed away at the age of two. Rosie was so full of life. Um, she was just a very happy little girl. She was joking all the time. She loved being around her family. Yeah, I mean, she was our world. Like, our entire life revolved around her. What began as an ordinary family evening ended in tragedy with the discovery of Rosie's lifeless body early the next morning. For some reason, I just like went into her room just to check on her and I just noticed she was really still. And I put my hand on her back and that's sort of when everything unraveled. I noticed that she was unresponsive and we immediately rushed to the hospital. Despite rushing her to the hospital, doctors couldn't determine the cause of Rosie's sudden passing. The medical examiner contacted us, you know, within a day or two. And of course, their initial findings yielded nothing. Amidst every parent's worst nightmare, the Began family sought answers. A clue came from a recent New York University study in which the Begins agreed to participate. Researchers scrutinized bedroom camera footage of Rosie and several other children, uncovering a potential cause of their premature demise, a brief set of seizures. All five of the continuously videoed recordings showed a convulsive event prior to the video evidence that we had where no signs of life no longer existed. We saw that the convulsions were short, they were less than a minute. That was eye-opening and shocking to everyone involved. Lara Gould is leading this NYU research. She tragically lost her own daughter to the same medical condition at 15 months. When a child dies, it is your worst nightmare as a parent, and so you are so incredibly vulnerable in that period. But then to be called the next day and say, we didn't find anything wrong with her. There's just not a word for it. And trying to think about living life without ever knowing put me on this path. The seizures observed in the video camera recordings, along with the autopsy results, could contribute to a deeper understanding and potentially prevent similar tragedies. Is there something that we can study from those autopsy specimens to identify what is different about those children? And then we can use that to understand what risk factors and identify those children at risk. And that is why these crib camera videos that we've been able to collect have been such a remarkable piece of evidence in piecing together this story. With the increasing prevalence of video cameras in children's bedrooms, there is a glimmer of hope that the true causes of these unexplained deaths may eventually emerge. Aaron Rainin, VOA News, New York City.